Hi, everybody, and welcome to True Wants, where here we try to help you make that decision if it's going to change from a want to a need. If you are new to my channel, I really hope you will choose to subscribe. It's free and it's easy. It's the red button that you see right underneath this video. If you press it and it turns gray, you're in. It's that simple. There's also that bell beside that subscribe button that I always recommend that you press. It's called the notification bell. And what ends up happening is YouTube will notify you just once that I have uploaded a brand new video. I do upload a lot and sometimes my videos are time sensitive so I don't want you to miss out. So make sure to press that subscribe button, ring that bell and you'll be in the know. Also in that same area there is that thumbs up and that's where you guys come in. If you enjoy the content that I make and that I make so much of it, please take a second when you arrive to hit that thumbs up. It will turn blue, the number will increase and that's you helping True Ones get noticed on this huge YouTube platform. So I'm thanking everyone in advance for the support of the growth of this channel simply by hitting Hitting that thumbs up but don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell all right so here we go if you are anything like me I am so, always so curious what all the options could have been in my bags as you know on my channel I ended up purchasing and now have two accounts on Ipsy since BoxyCharm switched my accounts over. I always only had one account on Ipsy, but I always had two on BoxyCharm. So when everything got switched over, I ended up getting a second account on Ipsy and I added the extra glam bag into it as well. So now I'm going to have on my channel two paid for glam bags and two paid for uh, BoxyCharm boxes, which used to be a Corsair Plus, and two boosts because I had two premiums of on the other account and then during the icon month which used to be our glam x or our lux is now all going to be the icon during that i'm only upgrading one of my accounts so i'll still have a boxy charm available during the months with the icon box where before i only had the uh, glam x all right so we're going to have all the boxes all the time on this channel and these are the ones that i pay for also, sometimes with Ipsy, for over the last year and a bit, I have been getting PR, and I did get a PR package in reference to the boost and the bracelet. However, I haven't gotten any tracking yet in reference to the PR for the month of April. So as soon as I do, and if I do, I will make sure to share that with you guys as well. But... I did all my choices and I shared all of that with you. So all of those videos are up, but I'm always curious to know what other options there could have been in my selections. So if you're like me, I have it all set up on the computer and then this video is one that I love to be able to share. All right, so let's get started. And it starts off with all the items that could have been in our glam bag. So starting with beauty for certain the deluxe lipstick in number 17 i was hoping for this one but i didn't even see this in my add-ons either of these two the drunk elephant bestie number nine jelly cleanser because we definitely saw this in our spoiler videos that i have the opportunity to always share with you on this channel then cap cosmetics this one I was on the fence about to even put into my add-ons and I ended up not getting it because I'm on a hit and miss with this Cab Cosmetics. I really enjoy their lip oils, but their other products for me have really been hit and miss. Then from Pink Lips, I was hoping that some of these setting powders would have been in my options, but it wasn't. This one would have been Deep Honey, which I think would have been too dark for me anyways. These were the other power picks that I didn't see either in my add-ons or in my selection from Smashbox Cosmetics. This is their Studio Skin 24-Hour uh, Hydra Foundation. I would have loved to have tried that. Then from Amika, we have the Task Repair Treatment. And then from Kate Somerville, we have the Total Repair Cream. Then we have the options here could have been the Benefit Cosmetics. This is their Pore Professional. This is one of their newer launches. I actually got in a previous box the toner in the foam. It's a lot of fun. Then here was another color selection for Cab Cosmetics and another color selection that hopefully would have been based on our beauty uh, quiz, which I shared with you all the time. Make sure to go into that because they have definitely upgraded it and I do have a video on that as well. And if you want to know where all my videos are, it's really simple where my picture is. You simply click on that picture where it says True Wants right underneath this video. It will bring you to another set of tabs available on the YouTube channel. You see the one that says videos and you simply click on there. You could play all and catch up or you simply can go to the search bar at the end of that 
page and you will see it on the total right hand side and you could simply type in ipsy you could type in how to you could type in anything that you're interested in and it will pop up on my videos and it will bring you to exactly where you want to go then we have from living proof the full thickening cream from kate somerville we have their serum and then we have two sponges from farah then we have from fox hair we have their leave-in conditioner we also have the Billion Dollar Brows. This one is in taupe. For some reason, I changed my beauty profile to be light medium from medium, and then they ended up choosing for me the brow in blonde. So I'm gonna have to see when it arrives here. If it ends up being a little bit too light, I'm gonna write to the customer service to help me with that, because always in the past, I always received like a medium brown shade, and taupe, would have been, I think, a better selection if, because they always say, if you don't know what's the best shade for you, always choose taupe. Then we have Kate Somerville. This is their cleanser, their daily foam. I'm actually currently using this right now and enjoying it. And then Ren was an option for me, but I have so much Ren because Ren is a product that I was purchasing before I even had Ipsy. And now I'm on their PR lips as well. And it is one that I love being able to share with you on this channel. And the fact that it's on Ipsy and you guys can get it even at a better discount, it is a brand that I highly, highly recommend. Then again, we have some more Smashbox and Living Proof. <clears throat> and then this Pearly Say, this was the Yuzo Orange uh, Moisturizer. This was an option of both of mine. I usually like choosing Pearly Say, but there are other options that I was more interested in. So I ended up choosing something different. Gold Fatten MD, I ended up getting in one of my glam bags. The Makeup Forever, I didn't see it as an option and I was hoping to try this one. And it wasn't in the add-ons. If it was, I would have definitely chosen it for myself. This was in our spoilers. Then some other products from Ren. Then Smashbox, I was also hoping to see something from Smashbox, but I did do a sneak peek uh, yesterday that there's gonna be an amazing sale in the Mega Drop Shop and there's gonna be a Smashbox kit in there that that's what I'm gonna probably end up getting. Then we have from Pearly Say Beauty, another moisturizer. Again, some more products from Cab, as well as Bill and Dollar Brows, and there's that blonde one that ended up in my box. Then we have from Briagio Hair Care. This is another one that was chosen for me. And then Murad, I've had the opportunity to try this and highly recommend it's really good as well. Shades by Shan has been a really surprising brand to me because I didn't know about it before Ipsy. And now every time it has been an option or an add-on, I have been picking up and learning more about this brand and I've really been impressed with it. Tarte, this is a really fantastic volumizing mascara. And as I share with you all the time, these are fantastic when we get the mascaras in this size in our glam bags or in the add-ons just for $3.50 because the brush and the formula is exactly the same that is in the full size. Then this is a new brand to me, this Mo Beauty. They're saying it is a conditioning lip balm. Another product from Shades by Shan. Seate London, this was one that was in our spoilers. And then this would have been another new brand to me, this Petal Skin Care. Then from Benefit Cosmetics, this is their Precise My Brow. This is one of their newer brow products. Then from YC Collection, it was a tweezer, the new company, as well as Hey Honey. And Hey Honey, only in one of my boxes, I don't know if you guys had this too, but some, of, some and I shared with you when I filmed my video, the choices, I know a lot of girls on Instagram were getting on very early on their accounts. For some reason on mine, they weren't up early. And then when some were up on one account, some weren't up on the other. And I shared that with you when we went through the choices. And only on one of my accounts, my original glam bag, did I have an option that I was going to get a free Hey Honey sample size product if I spent $25 in the add-ons. It wasn't an option in any other of my three paid for bags. Dionise, this is another one that is definitely one I highly recommend. And I actually just got added to their PR. So if you're following me on Instagram, so I really hope that you are. My name there is Truance with the number two. I received a really cute package of products from them that I definitely posted on my Instagram. So really make sure that you're following there too, because when I don't have the time to do a video, I 100% post it on Instagram. Then we have the new company. This is another new brand, uh, not a new brand, a new product for this brand for me. Here is the pink lips again in another shade. And then there is a 
beauty sponge from a v cosmetic i'm really excited about the v cosmetic brand as well i've tried a few of their lip products and then one of the products that was chosen for me was an under eye and peachy and i'm so excited that that was a choice for me that i ended up choosing first aid beauty we always get to try something from this brand through ipsy it's always fun and same thing with shanna beat miami i had a lot of choices of different eyeshadows from her in my choice section when we were doing the choices for glam bag which is usually around the third week of the month and then we ended up getting some more of those same choices in my glam bag this time around too meg cosmetics would have been a newer brand to me and here's another shade by the shades by shan and some more from living proof as well as gold fat and md real her in one of my bags ended up being one of their choices for me so i'm excited always about trying a mascara from every brand and then this orza is i fell in love with this brand through their shadows which i've shared with you if you've been with me for a while and I ended up choosing this as my choice item in my two paid for glam bags. So I'm really excited about that because it wasn't in my add-ons at all. Then here's some more products from Pearly Say. Elemis, always fantastic to try skincare from these higher end brands in this section for the glam bag, as well as if it's in your add-ons in the 350 section, because these are brands that are usually like very very high end they start like 50 to 100 dollars for a lot of their products and i definitely see results with their products but if you want to know if it's worth your choice this is when you choose these products in your add-ons for 350 or your glam bag and elemis is one of those brands like tatcha that i end up always choosing it in this section because it's when it's a choice for me in add-ons or in my bags because you are getting these high-end products at such low-end prices and a lot of people including myself will end up buying two or three because a lot of times they will let you max out of three in one item and then you're able to almost get as much as you would get in a full size for a lot less money then this is the uh, head candy i ended up choosing this a while back and i'm not sure where i put it believe it or not it's either in my probably it's in my travel bag which i'm going to have to take out because i really haven't been traveling a lot since years now then we have the Euro Murad this is also a brand that I always enjoy trying I was hoping to see this um other product that we saw in the uh, section that I didn't get to try. But this Cab Cosmetics, I didn't see it because I would have loved to have get, gotten this in the travel size because this is one that I've gotten in the full size and I ended up replenishing it in the full size in all different types of, uh, they come in like an orange, a pink, a, a green, but they all are just a very, very light tint. So the tint really doesn't really come across, but these lip oils are really, really fantastic from Cab. Estate Cosmetics is a brand that I'm always on the fence about. Beauty Creations, another one that wasn't even an option for me. This Luna Magic wasn't an option, but First Aid Beauty, they ended up choosing for me in this KP Smooth Body Lotion. But as I shared with you in my Allure box, a few months back, this was a choice item where we got to choose which type of First Aid Beauty. And I ended up choosing this body lotion and I'm enjoying it. Then again, some more shades from Shiana B. Miami and then Living Proof is a Curl Enhancer. And then Grow Now Chemist, I've had the opportunity to share this on my channel as well. Everything that I've tried from that brand has been an absolute winner. Now let's get into what our options could have been in our BoxyCharm box. So starting with Sonage, another brand that I got introduced to through Ipsy and fell in love with. My skin definitely saw results with this brand. And when this was a choice item, I ended up choosing it as well as in a shopper kit that I was able to try a lot from this brand for a really reasonable price. And I stuck with that one brand for over a month and I definitely saw results. And this is their vitamin C serum and it is one that I recommend. Item Beauty, this is their power blush. Then from Bobbi Brown Cosmetics, this is their cream shadow. And this was available in a lot of different shades. And I ended up choosing it because the two shades that they chose for me, my two different paid for versions, were both very light shades. And what I have shared with you in the past is what I like doing with these cream shadow sticks especially where they're in the lighter shades i end up sometimes using them as my daytime look and then it ends up being a phenomenal primer 
that when I want to add shadow to it, it really is fantastic. So I can get a lot of looks out of this as well as having it as a cream primer as well. Then we have this Beauty For Certain. This is a primer from them. Then this was another one that was a choice item for me that I ended up choosing because I shared with you that when I got the introduced to this brand, I ended up choosing for myself. They had a beautiful palette that had eyeshadows and I think a highlighter as well as a blush in it and it was stunning so I couldn't wait to try more from this brand so when this ended up being a choice item for me I grabbed it this drunk elephant was not a choice for me at all but I know someone shared with me in the comments that this is a very light, light uh, shade in this. So if you're a darker skin tone, a lot of people were saying that when they've tried this product in the past, it really didn't show up for them. So I guess depending on your beauty quiz, if you did get this, there might have been different shade options. But what I'm seeing right now is this one that is this is called the Rosy Drops. Then from Bare Minerals, this is their Mineral Veil. If you have not tried this, this was one of the first products from Bare Minerals many, many years ago that really changed the game for me in reference to my makeup. This actually makes your skin look like you have a filter on it. Then from Fenty Beauty, this ended up being one of my choice items, but I have gotten this in the past and I went to my stash before filming because we did see sneak peeks for this and I ended up having this one already. So this is also an absolute treat that this is now in Ipsy because this we used to get only in BoxyCharm. Then from Item Beauty, another cream powder blush. Bobbi Brown, here's another one. There's going to be a few of these because I'm sure there were a lot of options in reference to color. LYS, I was on the fence with this. I didn't end up getting this. And when I looked at some of the colors, I knew what my color shade was going to be. This shade here is one of the lightest ones that they had. But when I went to the website of LYS when we did the spoilers, I always recommend after we do the spoilers, if anything has a shade tone to it, to always go to the website so that if it ends up being a choice for you, or in the add-ons, you'll be able to know quickly what's the shade that you're looking for. And based on the shade selection, I would have had to choose the medium one, and that one looked a little too dark, and this one had an undertone to it that was a little bit that I thought wouldn't have been a good match for me. So I ended up passing on it, even though it was in the add-ons for $12. If it would have been in my box, I would have tried it, but I ended up putting it in my add-ons, and then I ended up taking it out. Then the Belle en Argent, this is a liner from them, and then Shades by Shan, a lipstick, and I had the opportunity to grab a couple of the lipsticks actually from Shades by Shan, in the 350 section last month, which I had the opportunity to swatch for you guys as well on my channel. Dry Bar, another one that I highly recommend. This I had to grab for myself. It wasn't an option in any of my bags, but this is the newest launch from Ole Hendrickson. And I ended up choosing it, even though all three option colors were there. In the $12 section, I ended up choosing the lightest one that was called Banana. I was on the fence with the one that was a shade up from that that was Apricot, but it looked a little too dark. So I'm going to try this one here for $12, and hopefully that when we get this, it'll come up as an option again in future sales. But always love being able to try anything new from Ole Hendrickson because his brand is a staple in my selection of products that I use. Origins is another one that I actually enjoy so, so much. And here is another one that is a choice here from Fenty Beauty. This one I didn't have and I didn't have it as a choice. I only had that rose one. This Trust to Say Beauty we have seen before in the highlighting palette, as well as Bobbi Brown we mentioned, as well as LYS will come up in a couple of different choices. Then there's this brand here called Four Chicks, I guess. If you've had the opportunity to try anything from this brand as well as the brand right beside it, please share that in the comments down below because both of these were options for me and I usually like to try new products. But because I was going to be filming both and there was the glitch where some things were showing up and not, I ended up making my decisions on what were safer picks for me, let's put it that way, like the Bobbi Browns and things like that. So if you've had the opportunity to try either of these, please make sure to share in the comments down below. The goat milk from Kate Somerville I've shared with you, we got it a lot in BoxyCharm. And because I had two accounts there, I ended up getting a lot of repeats of this item in particular that I was even able to put it in a few of my giveaways. And with that said, this is really fantastic if you're a combo girl because it is a lighter weight um, moisturizer. Here it is in the apricot that was the one that I was going to grab, but I ended up choosing the banana. The Fenty Skin 
This I had on my wants list until I saw somebody open it up in one of their packages last month and they said there was a scent to it that was not pleasant. So I ended up taking it off my wants list. So that was still an option for me. I'm happy I was able to watch a video on that because I don't get to watch a lot on YouTube anymore because I film so much and I also still do a lot of work. So for me, it was I'm missing out on seeing a lot. So I love when you guys take the time to share with me in the comments some of your wants that you have tried and fell in love with. This Give Them Lala, I couldn't believe, was one of the ones that ended up being in my BoxyCharm. And this we've seen really reduced to like $3 or $5 and it's been around for a while and it is definitely not one of my favorites. It is a very, you really have to build on this to get any color. Give Them Lala also is one of those hit and miss brands for me as well. Then we have from Hip Dot, that was in our spoilers, this Fenty Beauty, I got very lucky. It was a choice for me in both my boxes. So I was able to choose it in one and be able to choose something else in another. So it really ended up being fun having two accounts just for this product in particular. Then this was another one that was another brand that would have been new to me. I ended up choosing on mine here the last item, this V Cosmetics. They had it as a that they had it as a choice for me in a peachy color for the eye color corrector. And I share with you all the time that I love using those little bit, even though I'm not that dark under my eyes. I feel it really brightens it up and it gives my concealer some help as well as the under eye section if i'm not planning on wearing makeup i will always put a little bit of these color correctors under there in that peachy tone becca was my go-to for so many years and now that becca's no more i found another one from this brand called skin foods which is a korean brand but i'm always excited to try new ones in reference to that then I got really excited in one of my boxes. I did get this Natasha Denona. This was on my once list, so I'm happy that that ended up they chose for me. This Dr. Brandt Mineral Mask, they ended up choosing for me in both my bags. So that is one that was one of their power picks, and they chose it for me in both my bags. With the two power picks, the only thing that I got the same was this Dr. Brandt Skin uh, Mineral Mask. Then from Wonder Beauty, I didn't see this one at all in the choices. Then again, these are some of the items. There's the color corrector that I mentioned to you. That one is in the peach undertone that I chose. They chose for me as a power pick this Saturday skin, so I'm excited about that one because that one will be new to me. This Pacifica Beauty, this body butter, I ended up choosing as one of my choice items. The Best Face Forward is another brand that I'm starting to see a lot of, so I'd like to try more from that brand as well. This lip mask was one that I'd be interested in, except I just chose last month this one from this brand called Lucky Chic that is called Lip Love. If you see that, grab it. It is just as good if you've been with me for a while. I was in love with for the longest time and kept repurchasing from Tarte, the one that had that orange um, flower on the top of it. It was phenomenal and everyone that I told to try it through my channel said that you did and you fell in love with it too. Well, if you can't find it anymore like me, this new one that is from this lucky chick, this lip, it's called Lip Love, is so fantastic. I'm enjoying it so, so much. Then from Mad Maske, another brand that we have seen for a few times, this neon would have been a new one for me. It was one that we saw in the spoilers as well. The Super Goop, if you've tried this, please make sure to share. The only thing that stopped me from grabbing this in my add-ons is the word oil in it. So I'd love to know if you are a combo or an oily skin girl, if you've had the opportunity to try it, what your thoughts are on it. Then Pearly Say Beauty, we've already talked about that as well as Bobbi Brown, the Ren Skin Care as well, I have shared with you. The Cap Cosmetics was another one that I was on the fence with grabbing, but like I said, I'm always hit and miss. If it would have been in my bag, I definitely would have tried it, but to cho choose it in my add-ons for $12, I decided I wasn't going to do that because there's so many sales that are going to be happening this month, and I wanted to budget myself a little bit better. Then they have some more bare minerals here. Basic Beauty, I'm not that familiar with. Formula Z, this was an option in both, and I have been enjoying his formulas so much so this was but i am so set on setting sprays right now that i ended up choosing something else yc collection this was another one that was an eyeshadow primer not that familiar with this i did get a powder from them in the past it was just okay for me it wasn't blow away so i ended up choosing something else with my choices tula is always one that i love having the opportunity to choose but this wasn't a choice item for me there's some more of the color correctors. Another one of the cab. This one is in a glow powder bronzer. 
I don't like glow in my bronzer, so I ended up not grabbing that in the add-ons. And Milk Makeup, I've had the opportunity to get this and try it, as well as in another box, I ended up getting the full size as well, so I was really happy with that as well. So those are all the potential products that could have been in our bags based on our beauty quizzes and what they chose for us to choose from is what I was able to share with you. If you haven't seen those videos in reference to my choices, I made sure to share that with you as well. I also go through the add-ons like I just did now with these products so I can give you guys more insight because I've had an opportunity to try so many products that I always like to be able to share on my channel anything that I know about the brands, the products, and of course, the deals. So if you've had the opportunity to try any products and if you're talking any skincare, make sure to share in the comments Comments, your skin type as well as your skin tone if you're talking about a good color for you as well. Remember, this is a community here at True Wants. We solely are interested in anything, fashion, costume, jewelry, all of that, all the girly girly stuff that I love to be able to splurge on. Remember, this is always a luxury. So if we're able to enhance and bring a little bit of an extra fun into our day and be able to get that little lipstick or something for $3.50, I think it is an absolute treat. So make sure to share in the comments down below because that's what we do with each other here is we share information, but it is solely about the brands, the products, and the deals. All right, take care, everybody. I'm so excited for April. I cannot wait to see what else Ipsy has in store for us. Make sure to share in the comments down below, and I will see you all soon again in the next one. Bye for now.